because I finally started using my hatch alarm clock and I was just confused. I thought I hit snooze, but I actually hit off. So here we are, it's 8.30. I'm gonna get a really quick Peloton workout in and I haven't done Peloton in so long, so it should be interesting. Okay, I'm back from my workout. I didn't really break too much of a sweat because I was only on the treadmill for like 20 minutes, but it's better than nothing. It got my blood pumping. That's just what we're doing today. And I'm gonna quickly hop in the shower because I gotta get going. I made it on time. We are logging on to the work day. I'm just gonna go through all of my emails and get everything organized for the day because as you might know from the title, I'm starting a new job, still at the same company, but I was switched into a different role on a new project. So it's a completely new team and everything. I'm very excited. I actually know a lot of the people from my previous team. So it's new, but it's not like completely new, but I'm very excited. I'm starting this on a Wednesday because that's like my first official day. So it's a short week in my life, but it's gonna be a busy one. And I'm so excited you're here. If you're new, I'm Lucia, I'm 23. I work in Identify and Marketing, which is what I'm doing now. And we're gonna be tackling something new this week week but I'm very excited to take you guys all along just messaging my new team I have some introductory calls today some trainings just getting up to speed on everything very quickly though because I kind of need to get straight to work so here we go subscribe for a new video every Sunday and Wednesday and let's kick off the work week in my life I'm so excited okay I just finished an intro call it was really good I feel like I got so lucky everyone on the team is honestly just so nice it's super welcoming. It's all women, which I personally just like. I don't know if that's problematic to say, but it just makes me feel more comfortable. Not that I... You guys know what I mean. Very grateful about that. I feel like whenever a huge change is happening, I mean, I'm honestly really excited about this change because I'm just, I'm kind of ready to like do something new. But I feel like when a big change is happening and it can be scary, like it's just really helpful to like write down what you're grateful for. Just remember... I remember all of that good stuff. That actually reminds me, I didn't do my journaling today. I need to do that. It's time for breakfast. This is one thing about working from home that I love. I can just make a bagel at like, and now it's 10 a.m., 10.30. So easy. I got a ticket for the Eras tour yesterday. I'm so excited. I'm literally going alone because I couldn't find anyone that wanted to ball out with me, which is understandable. But it's the eve of my birthday in Chicago. So it's gonna be perfect. It's like my huge birthday gift to myself. And so I found this playlist that's like a set list of everything Taylor plays at the Eras tour. And I've been listening to it this morning. And it's getting me so hyped. So excited. If I ever get tired, of these avocado bagels, like, I don't know what I'm gonna eat. <laughs> it's literally my obsession. Cheers. Getting back to my laptop after a five minute break. My next call isn't until 12.30. So I have about two hours to like get some work done. I'm just kind of jumping right into things with a project that I can work on and like ask questions as I go through to just dive right in. So that's what we're gonna do. I just had another call because I have so many questions. I literally am picking this one girl like a million times with so many questions. Because 
I'm still learning. And I feel like it's always good to just ask as many questions as you can in the beginning so then you get up to speed faster. And I like asking questions in the beginning because then I feel kind of stupid, even though there's no stupid question really, especially if you're just trying to get the work done and get it done correctly. I feel so much better asking all these crazy questions my first week versus four weeks from now when I probably should know the answer because I probably should have asked the question earlier. So no question is too small when you just started. I just hopped off my 12.30 call, so it's time for my little lunch break. I need to undo my dishes at some point because I ran the dishwasher last night and I have no idea what I'm gonna make for lunch. Let's see here. I really don't have a lot of great lunch foods. I could do the soup. Honestly, just never have like a really good appetite for lunch. I'm gonna have a turmeric shot though. And cheers. I think for now I'm gonna have some Greek yogurt and some fruit. Let's kick off the lunch break. to another work call. The audio on my laptop really doesn't work, so I have to join the Teams meeting from my phone and connect with audio through my phone. And then I connect like my screen and my camera on my laptop, so it's a little annoying. I need to go to IT. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow to have them to try to fix the microphone on my laptop. Um, yeah, I have a few questions. Just hopped up, a couple more calls. I swear this entire video won't be in this position. I'm going to the office tomorrow, which will be really fun. I haven't been to the office in over a month. So I'm actually really looking forward to that. And I'm going to go to Brew, my favorite coffee shop, and finish up some work there later today after the work day. But for now, we're gonna grind these two tickets I need to do right now. It's about five. I'm done with the work day. Also, I've been loving my new AirPods, by the way. I'm obsessed. They don't fall out of my ears. I love the noise canceling feature. Yeah, let me show you guys my fit. Puffer North Face. I got it from Poshmark. My headbands I've been obsessed with. The set from Dynamite. New Balance shoes. It's like 50 degrees outside. I've officially, I think, retired. My Ugg boots for the winter, hopefully. The weather's getting a lot nicer. The sun is out now. It's been storming and cloudy all day, so that's amazing. And we're gonna go to brew, get a crepe, because I'm absolutely starving, and start tackling all of my creator work stuff. I need to edit a YouTube video and get it up today, and then I have some random admin stuff I have to do. So let's go. It's so nice and glowy in the apartment right now. I'm obsessed. I'm back from my couple hour excursion to brew. It was much needed. I'm caffeinated. Even though now it's like 7 p.m. And I hope I don't regret having a latte at five. It was really good though. So I'm gonna stand by it. And I still have a lot to finish actually with my video. So I think I might need it. And I literally have so so many packages, it's insane. So let's do a little unboxing. Rapid fire unboxing, here we go. Amazon package. Ooh, razors, okay, amazing. When I went to Louisiana, I accidentally left my razor there, like the body of the razor. So I need to get, get a new one, and it came with some new cartridges. I love the fun pink boxes like this. I think this is an ad for Marvelous Miss Maisel. And honestly, as a marketer, I feel like it's a good marketing tactic. Yes! Okay, guys, I've been so pale. I haven't decided how I feel about self-tanner, but I like it in moderation. I think it gives you a nice glow. I don't like it when it's, you know, an insane self-tan and it just makes you look orange. I don't really like tanning my face either, but then you have to match your face to your body. It's a whole thing. But anyway, I got some new self-tanner because I was out of mine and they didn't have L'Oreal, which is what I usually use on Amazon. And I've just been such an Amazon girly because it's hard finding the time to like make a full target run. I think in the summer it might be more 
fun just because like there's more daylight it's warmer outside but for now i like ordering things on amazon so i'm trying bondi sans i've heard a lot about their self tanner i've heard it's good i also bought like a self tanning mitt because i've just been using my hands <laughs> For like the longest time and i decided it was finally time to invest in a mitt and then this one also has a back applicator so it's really easy to apply it on your back too which i think would be amazing so we're gonna be in a self-tanning era this is some clothes from princess Polly. i'm really excited about i'll do a little try on haul for you guys actually and i'll put the clips up here so you can see them on i got a lot of stuff main focus is just spring vibes and festival vibes oh i didn't even notice this was a corduroy skirt but that's cute okay this is a skirt I want to use for a festival. I think it would just be really cute. This is a two-piece, so it's a skirt. And then it also has this like bandeau top. I think it's just a good spring outfit. I also think I could use it for a festival, maybe more for like Lollapalooza when I see Lana Del Rey or something more chill. It's also just a cute outfit. It's a new style on me, so we'll see if I like it when I try it on. And this is a top i hope this fits too but i just thought this would be a really cute festival top this is a dress i've been seeing this type of dress like all over my feed and they actually had it in a petite size so i just think this is so cute just to wear like casually to like summer brunch spring brunch anything and then these are some cargo pants that I wanted to get. I just think they'll be great for festivals. Specifically, I'm envisioning this for Heat Wave. I just think it'd be so cute. And then it's like a little cover up for Bonnaroo because I think for Bonnaroo, I'm just gonna end up wearing bikinis every day. And it'll be nice to like have some cargo pants to throw over a bikini. Okay, that's my Princess Polly haul. Exciting stuff. I love getting new clothes, especially when they're for exciting things coming up on the horizon. Okay, next, this is a PR package. I love the packaging, it's so cute. Dear Lucia, okay, this is from Sonia Dakar. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it says, Dear Lucia, meet Blue Magic, our new calming and hydrating face mask developed for the highly sensitive and easily irritated. Okay, which is good, because I told them I was on Accutane, so any sort of product they sent me <laughs> had to be really good for sensitive skin. This is, no idea, actually. Let's see. <gasps> it's from Scabs! I saw an influencer post in this skim swimsuit and i was like i've been influenced i think it's so fun and i need kind of like a one piece option if i'm like wanting more coverage and i also think it'll be perfect for bonnaroo because it's just like a really fun vibe i just really hope it fits oh my god if it doesn't fit i'm gonna be so sad i feel like it's a little big in this area but we'll see anyway it's like a high neck swimsuit top very like form-fitting i think it's gonna be cute so very exciting and then this my beautiful blue package. This is my birth control. Exciting stuff. I get my Accutane and my birth control shipped to me now because that's the pharmacy. Hey, so loud. Because that's the pharmacy that my dermatologist uses and it's a mess. And that's my haul. Now I need to clean up all of this mess. Yay, hey, packages. All right, guys, it's 11.05. I'm so tired. My bedtime is normally supposed to be like 10.30. I'm gonna cancel my workout class that I have in the morning so I can get my full eight hours and then just do a class after the workday. I'm going into the office tomorrow, but I should be able to still do a class in the evening time. We're adjusting, we're adapting. Really wanted to finish this YouTube video. It's also late. So I'm gonna wait for this to export and then it's bedtime. Good morning, it's Thursday. I'm going into the office today. This is my outfit. I'm running a little bit late. The the turtleneck is from Princess Polly. So were the pants actually. This happens every time. I always end up wearing an outfit that's completely Princess Polly. And the shoes are also Princess Polly. They're my chunky sneakers. It's 38 degrees right now, but it's gonna get up to like 55 when I'm done with work. So I think I'm just gonna wear my parka. I don't really know what to wear. I'm wearing a headband again because it was just easy to not have to straighten like all of my hair because the front was like looking fine. And if I put a headband back, it just, I don't know. It's just easy. It's easy and it looks sophisticated. All normal jewelry. I feel like sometimes I get comments about like wearing crop tops in an office. Honestly, like not a lot of people are gonna be at my office today, no one from my team. So I'm kind of just there to like have a different location to work. And if I was having like a client meeting, I probably wouldn't wear a crop top, but also I just, I don't know. I don't think it's a big deal. I 
I really don't. I think this is a nice outfit. I'm not wearing a bikini. <laughs> and I have a blazer that I'm gonna put on over too for like any calls I'm doing. But yeah, this is the fit. I'm running a little bit late as per usual, except I need to stop saying that because I'm kind of like manifesting to myself that I'm a late person, but I need to start manifesting that I'm an early person, I'm on time, and that I have my shit together. So <laughs> I'm gonna stop saying that, but as of now, I'm running late, but that will change tomorrow. So let's go hop on the L and head into the office. I'm very excited. It's been so long. I actually remembered I need to pack my bag real quick. So keys, sunglasses, AirPods, laptop, and my laptop charger, my overnight oats in my salad box, my hydro flask, pepper spray, got lotion in here, and I need my favorite Accutane lip balm. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm in the bathroom at my office and it's 4.20 so I'm leaving like a little bit early because I don't want to catch the crazy rush hour and I'll just like log back on later tonight and finish a couple things. But I was at a really good stopping point and I was like, okay, if I go now, I don't have to worry about being on time to my workout class and I don't have to worry about the crazy packed L, hopefully. It's always so packed. Okay, there's one coming in six minutes. That's absolutely perfect. It was a crazy busy day. I was honestly just hopping on and off between a lot of different calls. It was my first like big team meeting back on the new team that I'm on. So that was really fun, very exciting. I also have a new manager, so I got to meet her. Yeah, I was just kind of like thrown into a lot of things today, which honestly was a great learning experience because I feel like for me when I'm starting a new job, like I just need to learn by doing. Like <laughs> I don't really learn like just by talking about something or like seeing a little Google doc or whatever. I really just learned by doing and I was like thrown into it because my counterpart who's like training me was out of the office this afternoon. So I had to help out with this call with our client and yeah i was just thrown into it and it went well so feeling good about that looks like this train is in five minutes now i better get going downstairs in the elevator and head home i'm so excited also i think it's really nice outside which is beautiful i love the spring when it's still light outside when we're done with work it's the best feeling in the world So my mistake, I made it back to Wicker Park, but the L was still way too crowded, so leaving early did nothing, but it's okay. You live and you learn. I'm honestly just glad I left early because I'm starving. So I'm gonna make myself an avocado bagel because I have a workout of 5.30 and we gotta be nourished. It was funny because there was no one at the office today in my department or anyone that I like knew. There were kind of like random people there that I didn't know and like no one was in my section. So I just went there really for like the free bubbly and the change of scenery, an excuse to get Duncan. I mean, it was good. I feel like I was really productive and it was just nice to have a change of scenery. One of my goals for April is to go to the office four times. So like once every week and I think it'll be good for me. I mean, I honestly like it. I wish that there were people there to see, <laughs> but it's, it's good to have a change of scenery. I mean, it's like I'm talking to people just on video chat. Oh, that's another thing. My new team is camera on, which I honestly love because it gives me an excuse to like make myself look presentable. Not like put on makeup every day, but just like make myself look presentable enough for people. And I just feel like it, it helps with like team morale and like getting to know each other. So I'm honestly really excited about that. I love the camera on vibes. And yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling really good about this team. I feel like I like everyone I'm working with. I'm just really feeling it. I'm gonna eat this bagel, put on a vlog probably, and just like chill for a second. We've been going, going, going all day, so time to chill. Oh, and also take off all this jewelry. I'm ready to change. All right, I changed into a workout set. I need to head out the door like literally right now, but I'm going to take off my makeup. Whenever I'm in a hurry and getting ready for something, I just 
throw everything everywhere so i'm gonna fix that when i come back but just want to get this makeup off my makeup actually looked awful today i think it looks good on camera but if you're like actually in person it just looks really scaly and dry and kind of cakey because i think my skin just wasn't moisturized enough underneath my makeup and yeah it looked awful so honestly it was good that no one was in the office today that I knew in person because they'd probably be like, what happened to you? But it translates good on camera. All right, it's not gonna be completely off, but at least it's off for the most part. I'm gonna put on my matching Set Active crew neck and I think it's warm enough. I can just wear these shorts, <laughs> not this kick. Let's go to bar. I'm back from bar. It was so hard, but I feel like I didn't really sweat that much. I don't know if people can relate to that, but I feel like sometimes I just don't sweat. God, it's so bright in here, but I'm obsessed. It actually really feels like spring. It's so exciting. I suddenly feel very tired. We're gonna shower and then I have some social media work I need to get to. <laughs> I got this new juice shot from Trader Joe's on Sunday. It's called a pineapple probiotic. It has coconut water, pineapple, lemon, and ginger. So it might taste a lot like my ginger shots that I use, but it's green, which is like really tripping me up. Cheers to Friday. <laughs> I don't really like pineapple that much. I just wanted to try this, so it's not my favorite. It kind of honestly tastes like a pineapple margarita or something like that. <laughs> kind of wild. I got the most sleep last night out of every single night this week. Yeah, for some reason, this is the morning I'm the most tired. Make it make sense. <laughs> I have a lot of work I have to catch up on this morning for my freelance job before my nine to five starts. So I'm gonna go to Absento bright and early get some matcha, and we're gonna tackle things. But first, journaling and all of that. All right, guys, it's time to head to Absento. Hopefully the fresh air will make me feel a bit more awake. These mornings have been a bit weird because it starts out at like 35 degrees, like it's 35 degrees right now outside, but this afternoon it's gonna get to 50 degrees, which I just find so strange because 50 degrees feels like spring to me, even though when I lived in Louisiana, it felt like winter. <laughs> but yeah, I'm wearing the same set I wore, I think it was Wednesday, just because I didn't wear it like the entire day. So I feel like it's still not completely dirty. So I'm just gonna wear the same one so then it'll be completely dirty by the end of today and then I can wash it and then I'll have enough sets left over for the weekend. That's my <laughs> my matching set washing routine if you were interested. So we're getting out the parka. Every time I get out my parka these days, I'm like, I hope this is the last time, but who knows? To Absento we go. Okay, I'm back from Absento. Time to make some lunch. I'm gonna make these leftover quesadillas. It was a really productive morning. It's a Friday, so I think Fridays are just a bit slower in general. But also I think our client might have the day off today because it's good Friday. So it's kind of a chiller day, which is really nice. So I'm able to make myself a full lunch. Let's lunch be served. So excited to eat this. It looks so good and crispy. I just finished having a bunch of calls. It's been a crazy afternoon, call after call. It's now 6.23, I'm honestly gonna be working like probably for the rest of the night. I know it's a Friday, but sometimes this just has to get done. Luckily, I don't have any plans and Vicente's going to a dinner, so it just works out good. But I'm probably gonna pick up some dinner to go because why not? You guys know me, I really want some Lumanati's pizza, but I feel like I should at least try to see if there's something else that I wanna get. Maybe support a more local business. Even though Lumanati's is like a local business, I think they have like one location in Arizona, but whatever. Let me just search good takeout. Okay, I'm looking at the stuff around here. I don't really wanna do tacos because I feel like Vicente and I might do that tomorrow for like actual like going out to eat. So I think we're gonna do lose. 
I have an obsession, you guys. Pizza unboxing. I got a gluten-free thin crust with green pepper and onion. I couldn't get sausage because it's Good Friday. I'm so excited to devour this. Sometimes when I think about food, I realize that I basically had this exact meal, but just in a different form earlier today because I had a quesadilla and in the quesadilla, I had green peppers and red peppers and onion and cheese and like the base of a corn tortilla. This pizza crust is made from corn flour. I have green onion, I have onion, I have cheese, different kind of cheese, I guess, but it blows my mind sometimes. I'm like, every single thing that we eat is the same. Food for thought, <laughs> literally, food for thought. <laughs> I'm cringing myself out, but I'm gonna put on a vlog and we're gonna eat this pizza. Cheers. This is quite a chaotic end to this work week in my life. It obviously isn't a completely normal week since I'm starting a new role. And there's just a lot of other projects I have going on right now. So that is why it's 8.45 p.m. on a Friday night. And here I am, still finishing up some work for the day, eating a popsicle. I have a YouTube vlog on in the background. This is life, guys. This is real. I will say, I'm not lame. This is normally not my Friday night experience. But honestly, I love a productive Friday night or just a Friday night where you're staying in because then I feel like I can chill more for the rest of the weekend. Also, the work I'm doing right now, most of it like I could do on Monday. One thing I do have to get done today, but it'll make my Monday morning just so much easier. And I know that future me will thank myself for this. And I try to like have this mindset of, okay, what would future me really appreciate? Because I want to be kind to her. And I'm normally really bad at that. I'm normally like, I'll oh, just deal with this later. But I'm trying to adapt more of a principle of like, how would future me think of this? Like, how is this gonna affect future me? And I want it to be positive, so it's okay. We're gonna get through this. This is not my normal. I don't want you guys to think I'm being like worked to death because I'm definitely not. I'm just, this is how I'm choosing to spend my Friday night and that's okay. Time is an illusion anyway. <laughs> it's Saturday morning. I completely passed out last night right after working, but that's the end of the vlog. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't yet. I post two new videos every single week and I'll catch up with you guys next time. Bye.